she really was really really strong and she just never stopped she always kept going Clara was just a, a perfect little girl um, she was yeah she was my little girl in in that sort of second year of her, her life um, we traveled all around the world which we'll we'll always be so grateful for um, we always used to say she was she was too good to be true. We yeah. said that, you know, before she was diagnosed. She was always, yeah, couldn't quite believe it. Pulling up in the car outside in the garage and I'd go outside to see her and she'd just sit down kind of just overwhelmed to see me and things. And I don't know, we were just, it was just, yeah, she was just really, really special. Well, she was, she was just a, a healthy, bright, bubbly toddler. Shortly before her second birthday, she just started getting fevers and she was sent home from daycare, you know, just constantly and, and it went on for a few weeks. And so one night after dinner, we just took her into the emergency room. We spent the night in hospital and then first thing the next morning, the doctors came in and, and said she had leukaemia. You know, within an hour, I think we were in an ambulance on the way to Brisbane for treatment. And she never really got to spend the night at home again. That was it, really. She spent the rest of her life almost in hospital. She was just really unwell and she got a really nasty reaction from the initial chemotherapy drugs where she, the nerves didn't work in her legs anymore. So basically after that first night, she. Uh, that we took her up to the hospital. She she pretty much didn't walk again, um, although she tried so hard. Once she relapsed and we knew that we didn't have very many options left, we just had a real think about what was important to us and it was swimming. We just really wanted to take Clara swimming again. She just loved to swim. The nurses kept saying to us, you should take her to Hummingbird House and you could just have a weekend there or some respite. So originally we took her just to make have some family time. It wasn't for end of life care at that stage. It is such a beautiful place and it is really welcoming. It's really fun. So we just decided that we would go there and we would spend the weekend together before she entered further treatment. Finn just had the time of his life and then and they were just had so much fun together. We actually were heading we were taking her um, to the beach to get some photos taken and she just had a stroke in the car when we were out. So it was really unexpected. We actually decided to take her back to Hummingbird House so that we could be surrounded by the team there. But I think Hummingbird House is just, there's something about them that's just a, just that level above, you know, they they just come in and completely take over and, and help you out in ways that you never even imagined you needed help um, for. And, um, and they basically take you at a time where you're, you're probably never going to be potentially that low in your life um, and you're you're really really struggling with something that most people can't even imagine you, you can't even believe how much they help you get through that period of time and how comfortable they are with something that nobody else in society is really comfortable even yeah. talking about and it's just it's just an, an overwhelming love and support the kind of place that just deserves so much help